Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. This one is a special one because it is significantly longer than usual as you guys can see. So based on the thumbnail or the title, you guys can probably tell that I am making like a street of row houses or townhouses. Um, so I'm making four. So I'm doing, you know, the first one and I'm going to do three more. So the reason why this video is so long is because I am basically building four houses in one video. So if you guys do stick around for the entire video, um, thank you so much because I did work really hard on this one and I am really excited to share it with you guys. So because this video is so long, I am just going to be like a little bit more chill in this video, a little bit more laid back just because I can't be like really energetic and like exciting for 30 minutes. Um, so yeah. So pretty much the inspiration behind these is basically the Moschino stuff pack. Um, it came with a lot of cool kind of like industrial kind of studio seeming items and I wanted to use it in kind of like a brick vibe if you know what I mean. Um, especially with those black windows that we got, the ones that I'm using here right now. I just thought that it was perfect for kind of like an industrial kind of loft type of home. But I didn't want to just make like one, I just thought that it was a little bit underwhelming to just make like one tiny little loft industrial thing. So I decided to make like a row of four because I feel like that's kind of realistic. Um, I actually showed my mom this build and she said that there's something like exactly like what I built like down the street, not like here, but like somewhere in my city, like a couple minutes away or something. There's something that's very similar to this and I feel like this kind of thing is like around the world anyways, but kind of like a row of industrial like townhomes or whatever you want to call it and they're all a little bit different. So every single one of these homes um, has a different personality, has a different exterior, different textures, different finishes, everything. So it literally is four different homes in one video or in one block. So I actually was inspired or I got the idea to do this from one of my subscribers. Let me just pull up their name. But they commented on my first early access video with the Moschino stuff pack. They commented, let me just grab the actual comment um, so I can get it right. What did they say? Um, where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh, I'm like scrolling through. Okay, it. his name was Andrew Moeller. I think I'm saying your name right. But he said, you should build a loft for artists. Maybe four different artists, painter, photographer, sculptor, and musician. So I thought that that was an amazing idea, especially with the new fashion photography career that we got with the recent update or with the new Moschino stuff pack. Um... I thought that that was a super great idea. So, sorry, my phone just went off. <laughs> so the story behind these four homes is one of them belongs to a musician, one to a painter, one to a sculptor. I'm not really sure what he meant by sculptor. I did it like someone that is like a wood, like the wood shop thing. Is that what it's called? You know that like woodworking table that came with the base game where you can like craft like tables and chairs and stuff. One belongs to that and then one... Um, house belongs to a fashion photography person. So I tried my best to make every single um, town home or home reflect that on the exterior and the interior and I think I did a pretty good job but I do want you guys to let me know down below which one of these homes was your favorite after you've seen them all. Um, personally I think my favorite is the middle two but I'm not quite sure. I just had so many different ideas and I saw so many good inspiration photos for these type of like industrial loft, like mini townhomes and stuff that I couldn't pick one. So I thought I would just kind of throw all of those ideas into one build like this. And yeah, it's kind of cute. I did put it on the lot um, where the old salt house was in San Maishuno. So yeah, if you have city living and you have these packs, um, you can put it there too. I just think that it's so cute to put it kind of like in the city on ground level and stuff like that so yeah I thought this lot was perfect and I haven't built on this lot before so it was very very exciting um 
But just for some background here, the far left home is the sculptor's home or the wood woodworking guy's home. The second home is belonging to the musician. The third home belongs to the artist. And the last home that I haven't built yet, but it's on the far right, belongs to the fashion photographer. So yeah i definitely love what i did um they all have you know different windows they have different bricks like it goes red brick then brown brick then kind of like a white stone brick and then the last one is like a dark black ish grayish brick so yeah i definitely liked playing around with lots of different styles in one build just to see how it like contrasted and stuff like that um so yeah You'll see me do the interior much, much later. I do do the exterior first, and I do really, really love how it turned out. I cannot stress this enough. Um, it took me, I want to, I think it's four and a half hours or maybe four hours to build this entire thing. So it definitely took me a long time. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it, and I am really excited to share it with you. And yeah, it is really long, so I am just going to be chill and not like hyper in this video, which is kind of funny because in real life, sometimes I can be really chill and like calm like this, um, especially at work. Sometimes I'm just like a little bit, you know, just regular, but then oftentimes I also am like super hyper and super loud. Uh, if any of you guys who are watching have met me in person, um, yeah, I am kind of loud sometimes, but not today. Today I'm trying to be chill because I need to save my voice because I can't talk for 30 minutes and yell. So, um, as you can see here, we are pretty much done with the front facade, um, and then I'm just working on the back. Now, like I said, the front photographs or the front of the photos sorry what am i saying on the front of the build i built it kind of from reference photos and various different kind of like pinterest inspiration photos but whenever you use a reference photo everybody knows the struggle the back of the home you have to completely make up for yourself so i kind of had a lot of fun um using reference photos to build the front facade and kind of lay out the vibe of the home and then when it got to the back i just got to you know be completely creative and do whatever i wanted and you know just build that from my mind so i really love that i feel like um people pretty much everyone always uses a reference photo like at least once in their lifetime unless they are just like geniuses who can like come up with build house designs all the time um but i always specifically really love building the backs of homes because of you know that's where like the creativity comes out and that's where you can kind of make up exactly what you want to do on the back so yeah um what else do i have to talk about i feel like i don't want to run out of things to talk about we are about like a third of the way through the video so my voice has made it that far so far um but i will say that my past few videos have been using only base game and the moschino stuff pack i did an apartment build using every single moschino stuff pack item in the apartment so go watch that if you want to see the items that the pack comes with and i also did a creative video where i shared my favorite and least favorite outfits from the new pack so if you're interested in the clothing items go watch that video but in this video i did not pack restrict so um you probably have noticed already because you've seen me build with a lot of different packs in this build so far so i do use you know moschino stuff pack i can see get to work there i can see get together um i probably use vintage glamour because i love that so this build is definitely not a restricted pack build. Um, I have been really loving not restricting my packs. Um, and you guys know my channel has pretty much always been like a restricted pack channel. Um, just because I personally didn't have a lot of packs. And I also wanted to make sure that my builds were accessible to everybody. And I will continue doing that. But for this one in particular, in order for my vision to kind of be realized and in order for me to not like repeat furniture and exterior things too often because I wanted all of these apartments or all of these townhomes to look completely different I had to use um, multiple packs in order to accomplish that so I hope that's okay for this video I know a lot of you guys do appreciate my um, 
what is it called, limited pack build. So I will be getting back into that. Um, another thing I do want to say regarding like my channel is I do really, really want to get back into love it or list it and kind of have more of a schedule around that because I did mention it a couple videos ago but I really miss love it or list it it's just such a fun series on my channel and I feel like it's kind of what like defined my channel in my early days of YouTube so I do want to get back into my love it or list it renovation series um, if you guys don't know what it is I pretty much renovate all of the default EA um, homes using only base game and like one other pack so I started off in city living so I only did base game plus city living if I went to Brindleton Bay for example I would use only base game and cats and dogs so that kind of thing so if you guys have any suggestions on which world you guys want me to start with definitely leave them down below I am really into doing like subscriber requests and stuff lately um the thing is, when people request videos, um, I do get a lot of requests. If you guys do read the comments, there are kind of a lot of requests and ideas. And I only upload like twice, one to three times per week. So I can't, I don't have time to do everybody's requests. But I do write them all down and I do really like your guys' ideas. I do have a subscriber. Her username is M. She has given me so, so many ideas, you know, throughout the past year of my channel or two years of my channel and I have them all written down but I just sometimes don't get around to it because I have to you know be in the mood to like want to do it and stuff like that so yeah if you do have a request definitely leave it down below I might not do it immediately but I definitely will write it down and kind of try and incorporate it if I feel inspired at the time um, it might not be like exactly your request but it will kind of be like incorporated into my videos sometimes if I'm in the mood for it. So I definitely really appreciate when you guys do leave me um, requests and stuff because I like to make stuff that you guys enjoy. So if I make something based on your request, I know that you guys will enjoy it. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Um, but as you can see, the kind of like vibe, I guess, for the different townhomes is the one on the end, the one that belongs to like the fashion photographer. It's obviously a little bit more like bougie, I guess. It's a little bit more expensive. It looks a little bit fancier. Um, it's like that dark brick with like the nice lantern lights and stuff. Whereas the one on the, you know, the red one on the far right or left, depending on which side of the home you're looking at. Um, it's a little bit um, an older building, maybe a little bit more run down, um, not as new. So I did want to try and like capture different kind of like vibes throughout uh, this build. Like some of them are more expensive than others. You know, someone is like a designer fashion photographer. So they're obviously going to have like a bigger um, more expensive home but then someone who's just like a starving artist or a, a starving musician or something isn't going to have as nice of a home so I did try to like kind of capture that um, but overall I just kind of had like fun capturing the vibe of what I each like artist because they're all artists I guess um, each artist's like hobbies were within their home so now I am finally done the exterior, as you can see, and I am working on the interior. So this is the um, home that belongs to the wood maker or the, I don't even, is it a sculptor? Is that what it actually is? They, they make wood furniture. <laughs> so I tried to use a lot of like wooden um, furniture pieces in their home, um, like ones with a wooden bed frame, you know, wooden side tables, the, the wooden, you know, island counters and stuff like that I just wanted to make it kind of feel like oh this person um, built a lot of the furniture in their home and it's very like warm toned very brown toned and yeah very like natural neutral and stuff like that so that's the vibe I went for here I also really love the kind of little driveway I did um, on the side of the home and this person drives like a truck I thought that that was I don't know kind of realistic <laughs> I don't know you guys have to let me know down below and don't forget to I already said this but don't forget to let me know which home is your favorite um but now we are kind of reaching the point of when like a normal video would end 
like a normal length video but guess what we are only halfway through or just over halfway through the video there's still a lot more to go so i'm i'm still here you guys i'm not i'm not tired yet my voice is, is getting a little bit a little bit <laughs> like sore um i don't know how people who like do twitch and stuff how do they stream for so many hours because aren't you aren't you like isn't your voice get tired because i'm already tired just from this but mind you it is eight o'clock in the evening for me and i just had like a full day of work where i was like kind of loud and stuff like that so maybe my voice is just tired but also the sun is going down so you might see like the lighting kind of change throughout um but yeah i don't think i've actually used any mosquito stuff pack items until the final home so if you are only interested in the mosquito stuff pack items then you're gonna want to watch the final home the black one on the far right but don't skip it you guys because there are you know good good stuff coming throughout this video um but if you've made it this far give this video a thumbs up because i really really appreciate it if you have been enjoying it this entire time um you know we still got we still got some time left on this video so i need to think about what else i want to say um regarding the mosquito stuff pack because i feel like this video was inspired by the mosquito stuff pack so i should talk about it um i've kind of you know seen the furniture in action i've looked at the clothes and i'm kind of trying to like form my opinion on what I think about the pack in general um, and I will say that there always is such such backlash whenever a pack comes out that people didn't ask for and I think what people mean when they say we didn't ask for this is this wasn't a pack that was in The Sims 3 because it seems like a trend that everyone always wants the content that was in the past games to return and I feel like, I mean, this is just my opinion, but I'm, I, I feel like the Sims um, development team, they know. They know that we want university. They knew that we wanted pets. They knew that we wanted seasons because, you know, it has been successful in the past already. They already know that we want it. And I think that they are, well, I... I'm fairly certain that they are already working on the things that we want and the things that we tweet about all the time, like university. I am so, so excited for university and I am positive, like deep down, that we are going to get university probably next year. So for everyone who is, you know, always a little bit disappointed when their favorite pack doesn't come, um, just know that it does take time to make a pack really, really good and for it to have all of the features that you want and more so yeah just give it time i feel like um these stuff packs are just for fun you know they're only 10 bucks if you live in other another country it could be like 15 bucks but it's really not that expensive it's not a huge commitment money wise as opposed to like an expansion pack so you really shouldn't expect much and also it's just it's optional you know i only own i think two three now three stuff packs i own vintage glamour and i own fitness stuff pack and i now own the moschino stuff pack um, but that is only three out of 15 so you know barely any i own like one fifth of these stuff packs that are available because in my opinion they're optional and my builds, I don't feel, are lacking because I'm missing stuff pack. So if you don't like this stuff pack, you have looked at the furniture, and you don't think that you'll use it, I don't, I don't think it's necessary to purchase it. I just don't. It's not something that is really going to enhance your game because it is exactly what it says it is. It's just stuff. So if you don't want more stuff, don't get this pack. I would say... Expansion packs, you know, obviously add so much more to your game that if you don't have them, you're kind of like missing out. Um, but with something like this, you know, it's just stuff. If you don't want it, don't um, get it. And just remember that the people who work on stuff packs, like the team or the department at EA, is a completely different set of people than the people that work on expansion packs at EA. So they aren't competing for like budget or anything like that. Like it's a completely different department. So it's not like wasted time or anything like that. It's it's always, it's different. So 
don't worry if they start releasing stuff packs it's not because you know they're taking away from expansion packs it's different it's separate <laughs> um so I feel like I digressed quite a bit, but my final thoughts, I guess, are, in my opinion, for my style um, of building and furnishing, I do think that these items are worth it. Um, let me just pull up a calculator really quickly to calculate exactly how much everything costs. So we got 24 items from Creatisim and 38 items from Furniture. So we got 62 items total plus a new career. So even if you value the career at $0, um, $10 pack divided by 62 items, you're pretty much paying 16 cents per item with this new stuff pack. So I don't know about you, but it's pretty cheap per item. I mean, I couldn't make all of this stuff for 16 cents per item. It would take me hours or days to make you know 62 items so if you put it like in that perspective i feel like it's pretty cheap but again if you don't think if you think all of this stuff is ugly if you think all of the furniture is ugly then it's worthless to you so it's not even worth 16 cents but if you do like it even slightly just think about the fact that you know you're paying 16 cents per item and it's really you know not that much so yeah in my opinion, final thoughts. I feel like I've said final thoughts like three times. I would say yes, thumbs up, if you like the items. Um, if you don't like the items, you're not missing out on much. It's just, you know, stuff. It's just furniture. So if this were an expansion pack, my thoughts would probably be different because expansion packs are way more important in my opinion. But yeah, let me know down below if you you know, liked my analysis or you agree with it or if you guys are not going to get the pack or if you guys are going to get the pack. Um, and yeah, and I don't have very many stuff packs, like I said. So if you guys have any suggestions on which stuff pack I should build with or purchase next, let me know down below because I am always looking to add more to my game. Um, but yeah, I have realized though with this build, like I said, I didn't restrict my packs at all. And I struggled like so much, you guys, because there's just so many items, you guys. Every time I tried to look for like one little base game thing, it took me ages to find it because it's just, there's too much stuff to like scroll through. So I am used to restricting my packs. So only having like one or two enabled and having the rest of them like disabled. So trying to do this build and having all the packs installed i was struggling so i'm definitely going to be going back to my restricted pack builds very soon probably next video hopefully um so yeah again let me know down below what kind of stuff you want to see me build with um i'm definitely very excited to do that and of course look out for love it or list it coming back to my channel um hopefully this week i don't want to be like too like optimistic but i hope to bring it out this week or next week and yeah um what else was i gonna say i was gonna say something um i can't remember i honestly can't remember what i was gonna say as you can see here i am done all of the homes except for the very last one i'm doing like the fashion photographers one so i'm pretty much using all of the moschino stuff pack items here it's all very cute it does pair with the get to work expansion pack very very well so if you have get to work and you do like that style i do suggest you get the moschino stuff pack because i think that it goes together quite well so um it's just like a very like dark like cold looking um, home the other ones were a little bit brighter or warmer and I I did say I wanted to make all of them look a little bit different so that's why this one is a little bit darker and a little bit colder um, I also will note that all of them have a bedroom obviously all of them have a bathroom and all of them have a kitchen so if you do move your sims into here they can like stay in their respective homes and not have to go into like each other's homes because um, they all are fully functioning on its own. Um, additionally, if you want to like extract 
one of these homes. You can also like delete the other ones around it and like just have one of them if you only like one or whatever it is. So yeah, there's lots of options here. I feel like I don't know where this came from that I just decided to do four homes on one lot. I've been really into doing like kind of like tinier homes and smaller builds lately, but I don't know. I just felt inspired by that comment and thought it was such a great idea and I really do love how it turned out like I said I know I've said that so many times like I just love how it turned out um but yeah what else do I have to say we were really close to the end of the video and I'm like looking at the timer like oh my gosh please stop um but there is also going to be screenshots and I haven't actually taken the screenshots yet so I think the screenshots will take a while too because there's a lot so I actually have a lot more to say I guess um what else was I gonna say I I don't really know uh, what did you guys what are you guys doing this weekend <laughs> you guys need to let me know down below um, last weekend I went to this place called Kelowna I don't know if you guys know it it's in BC Canada um, it's like the Okanagan it's like very hot very dry um, there's a lot of like vineyards there's like a big lake um, I went around with my friends and we did like a road trip there and we went to like wineries and like vineyards and we go went and like visited all of that stuff we did like wine tastings and stuff and I came home with a nice bottle of wine after tasting like 12 glasses of wine I bought one of them so I'm not a wine drinker either but yeah I bought one of those so that's that was my weekend you guys um I don't know what I'm doing this weekend probably just recording more videos for you guys but let me know down below what you guys have been up to um yeah I just like want to know what you guys are up to because I feel like I'm doing all the talking all the time you guys need to do some talking um but we are pretty much at the end of the video the screenshots should be rolling I promise they are rolling this time um and if you guys made it this far in the video and you watched the entire thing thank you guys so much i really appreciate it i know this is like a long video this is like two videos worth of content you guys i could have split it up into individual videos but i didn't it's all in one video here for you guys to enjoy so i seriously hope that you guys do enjoy it and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. I definitely really appreciate that. And also, you silent viewers, you silent viewers that, you know, just leave a thumbs up but don't comment. I also appreciate you. I know that I am always, you know, interacting with the people who comment. But even if you don't comment and you do sit here and hang out with me, I also appreciate you. So I hope that you silent viewers are also having an amazing day. Um, the sun has pretty much completely set and I am just using my ring light right now. Good thing I did have a ring light because otherwise I would have like no light right now. Um, but yeah, I feel like the screenshots should be over now, hopefully. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it. And if this is our first time meeting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more Sims 4 build videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody!